there's this phenomenon that I feel like does not get enough attention. And I just learned about it. And it's really freaky. And I think it deserves its own conspiracy theory. And I'm labeling that conspiracy theory Cosmic Vampires. Um, it's called Vanishing Stars. I tried to do some research on this after I learned about it, but there's not a lot out there. I guess it's kind of like a recently discovered thing that there's not a lot of uh, information on. But yeah, basically what's happening is stars are just sort of like vanishing. And they initially took these like star survey images in the 1950s, and now they're doing them again, and I think they did them periodically, and sometimes stars will just be missing. So I'll show you an example of this. Uh, here we have a star, very bright, circled in blue. And here we have, so that's in 2007. And of course, these are all different times. It's not just from the 1950s or something. And this is in 2015, and it's gone. And there's no sign of any nebula left over from a supernova. There's no black hole. There's nothing. It's just gone. So... It's really freaky, and I think it's a really big deal, because if we just sort of misplaced um, our sun, that would probably be a bad thing. So what's kind of crazy is if you look over here, this is a SETI Institute. They've got this video up. I think it's pretty recent. And here's another example. I paused it on the screen where you can see a star here, and then you don't see a star here. It's just gone. And this is a really long video. Um, I did not get to watch the whole thing, but they've got this nice set of paragraphs um, talking about it. And basically, 70-year-old survey, so 1950s, they started discovering 100 stars may have gone dark. Um, those vanished light sources could have been short-lived flashes in the night or possibly even disappearance of long-lasting stars. So they don't really know. They don't have an explanation right now. And it's kind of freaky. And it's possible that these are stars that are turning into black holes without supernovas and that we just haven't taken enough photographs to ascertain that the black hole is in fact there. But usually when a black hole is somewhere it warps the light and you can kind of see this warping and you don't see that in these images which is very strange um but yeah anyways so they'll discuss the possibility you're seeing an unknown phenomenon or that vanished stars could be relics of technologically advanced civilizations particularly the theoretical mega engineering projects known as dyson spheres okay so they just don't no. <laughs> they straight up don't know. And it's so weird that, first of all, I haven't really even heard of anyone talking about this. You would think every single channel that's like dedicated to weirder, interesting things would be talking about this, but I really haven't seen it. And maybe I'm just not a skilled purveyor of the internet or something, but it's just not there. People just somehow either don't know or aren't interested and this is super fascinating to me super fascinating and yeah it's like they even have this like online tool where you can like compare images to help them look for vanishing stars i'll put this link you know in the description but here's another example there's a star there there's now not a star there um and a Unfortunately, there's not a lot of information on this. All I got to say is I find it super interesting and I got a couple of theories. So the reason why I call it cosmic vampires potentially is because a main culprit that could be the result of a disappearance of a star is a black hole. So like a wandering black hole. Or another main culprit could be an advanced civilization. Either way, it's kind of like a cosmic vampire. It's just sort of like eating a star every time it needs it. 
and I think last time I checked with the new update numbers, it's not just like a hundred of these stars, it's like more than 700 or something. So it's pretty freaky that you look and you find 700 examples, because usually in space you find like 10 examples of something that's strange, or like three examples of something that's strange. Like the tabby star is one example of a, of a star that has dimming at weird parts where it shouldn't. But this is like a lot of stars. And then secondly, if it is something like a wandering black hole that's eating a star and then it's out of frame before you kept capture the picture, um, that's kind of freaky too because it means we don't know how to identify a wandering black hole even if the evidence of its, you know, crime is right there, you know, it eats a star, it's like, you should be able to find it. Well, we can't. So I'm like, all right, so what's the probability of our star getting eaten? I don't think it's very high, so I'm not particularly worried right now, but I would say that if I was living on, say, a planet or something, and the star was getting eaten, I'd probably be kind of worried. So I think it's something worth, <laughs> I think it's something worth caring about. So I decided to make a little video about it, and I don't really know what's going on, but my two main theories is either it's wandering black holes, or it's an advanced civilization that's just like eating a star for its, uh, you know, I don't know, materials. Maybe they need heavy metals in the center of a star, so they just sort of eat a star, and then, or maybe it's just a cosmic cat, like, you know, our universe is pretty flat, so... It's just walking along the table and then it sees a cup, you know, just hits the ball of yarn and the star falls off the table. I don't know, something like that. Um, and then on the more strange side, it's like, well, there's a couple other theories you could throw out there that I'd like to mention before I end the video. Uh, and that is like other dimensions. There's this idea that timelines merge and sometimes stuff changes in the past. Um, and then there's another idea, which is like, you could theoretically move a very large object from one point in space to another point in space, but then you'd expect stars to be appearing at random too, which as far as we know, they're not. And if you're looking for a star that's disappearing at random, you probably are also gonna find stars that are appearing at random, we don't see that. So I think they're getting eaten. I think there's something out there that's eating stars. So, uh, anyways, it's uh, 12.30 a.m. <laughs> that's a great thought to have at 12.30 a.m. So, I think that's the end of this video. Let me know what you think's happening, because that's all I could come up with. But I was so excited about this being so freaky, I wanted to actually put it out there. So, I don't know. There's probably a lot of other explanations that I missed.